Bonjour mes étudiants, if you have also been struggling with this topic which is discours direct ou indirect, I'm sure this video is definitely going to help you. So let's quickly jump into this video and let's start with the first part. La mère dit à son enfant de se laver tôt le matin. Did you notice something? In all the sentences I've written D and I. D, direct, I and direct. This will help you to do the sentence in a better way. So the first sentence is of indirect. When the mother would have said directly, so how we need to start the sentence? Till here, it's going to be safe. You can also write it down in your notebook. La mère dit à son enfant, à son enfant. Then we open the brackets. The, we need to find the keywords. The means that the sentence is of which case? Imperative. And how are we going to conjugate? The mother is speaking directly to the child. That means it is Q subject pronoun. So how will you conjugate this verb? Left to a get up early in the morning. Left to a tola matin. The next sentence, who vat you? Sometimes the question that has been asked, it can be the starting also, but you don't have to worry. You can start your sentence with the letter part of the sentence. For example, you eat the morning the professor. You need to start your sentence from that part. So how are we going to write? First you can just write this. Le professeur Louis de Monde. Now the professor Louis de Monde, who about you? Now the professor is asking directly. It's a direct sentence. Where are you going? So now when I have to report it indirectly, it will be Le professor Louis de Monde, who il va? Who il va? The question word who has to be same. Vatiu changes to where are you going, changes to where is he going. Who il va? And a full stop. Let's move on to the third sentence. La wonders de monde au client. Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Now again it's a di direct sentence. So let's start the sentence with this. La wonders de monde au client. Now in this case, we can see that client is masculine. It is masculine client. It is masculine. So how are we going to write? When, when the question has been asked directly, it was been asked, guess who desire? What do you desire? But now when I'm reporting it, la wonders de monde au client, Guess changes to, I have also made a video on this topic before. You can even go and check out that video. I'll give you the link in the description box. So, guess changes to, all of these are keywords. Okay, so guess changes to, sucker. And sucker, it can be QE apostrophe if the subject pronoun starts with a voyel. It starts with a vowel. So, la wonders de monde au ce qu'il désire. And you conjugate accordingly. I hope it's clear. J'espère que vous comprenez. The next part. Le touriste dit au guide, je veux visiter les endroits historiques. Now the tourist is saying to the guide, I want to visit. So again, try to do it yourself and then check the answer from the video. Le touriste dit au guide, saying to the guide, Je veux. It is, it is an affirmation. Je veux visiter les endroits historiques. It's a declaration, declaration or affirmation. I will visit. So the tourist is saying to the guy that qu'il veut. Il veut, you conjugate accordingly. And the second verb remains same. Rest of the sentence remains same. Les endroits historiques, historical sites. I hope you are understanding this topic. The more you revise, the better the concept becomes. Last part of the question. Max de Mon Asanami. Tes parents parlent en français. When the question was being asked directly, we can use inversion, we can use the noun, your parents, do they speak French? But when you're writing in indirect, Max de Mon Asanami. Now it's a question, but the question word is not there. So in that case, you, you use which word? C. Très bien. 
si separo your parents become separo and out of both you can just use one separo really you can just use one so max is asking to his friend if his parents speak pal pal prose okay so in direct and indirect question you need to search for the keywords for example if it's the it's the imperative case if it is a question word you leave the question word as it is you need to note down the question word as it is if it is kesk it changes to sk so all these notes i have already given in my previous video if it's a declaratio sentence the sentence remains same you join it with the word k and if it is a question word but the question word is not there you know the adverb interrogative is not there u kon por qua como that is not there so in that case you join the sentence with the word see j'espère que vous comprenez maintenant i hope that you understand practice well this topic if you have any doubt put it down in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help i'll see you in the next video au revoir